all is new within a universe of continuous creation. This statement can be explained as a universal process of energy exchange with the future coming into existence relative to the atoms of the periodic table. A simple example of this is water with hydrogen bonds breaking and reforming releasing photon energy with the future unfolding photon by photon relative to the flowing water. The interactive nature of this process can be seen with water being able to form the shape of any object that it is poured into. This process is relative to the temperature of an individual reference frame. This can be seen in snowflake diversity being due to variations in photon oscillations linked to changes in atmosphere temperature. This forms an infinite variety of snowflake diversity with no two patterns of snowflakes being the same in the world. We can see this process unfolding in many ways and plant growth using photosynthesis is a perfect example. Photosynthesis The scientific ability plant life has to use sunlight or photon energy to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen can seem magical. But if quantum mechanics represents the physics of time as a process of continuous energy exchange formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light, with the future coming into existence with each new photon electron coupling or dipole moment within the reference frame and relative to the atoms of an individual planet can seem logical. The exchange of photon energy forms the movement of positive and negative charge and this is basically what we are seeing in photosynthesis. We are seeing the future unfolding with a movement of positive and negative charge relative to the structure of the plant. The entire trick of photosynthesis is to form a concentration gradient between positive and negative charge. This is done by what is called an electron transport chain in which energized electrons lose their energy in a series of reactions that capture the energy necessary to keep life living as a process over a period of time. This theory does not change our understanding of how photosynthesis works. But by giving us an objective understanding of quantum mechanics it gives us a more logical understanding of why the process of photosynthesis works within the larger picture of physics. Electric charge is an innate part of all matter and in this theory the future is unfolding with each new photon oscillation with the movement of that charge and continuous flow of electromagnetic fields. The forward momentum of light forms the forward flow of time for each object or light form within one universal process. We have a universal interactive process with the wave particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons forming a blank canvas that we can interact with forming the possible into the actual. At the smallest scale this is represented by the Planck constant being a constant of action in the geometrical process that we see and feel as the passage of time. In this theory the mathematics of quantum mechanics represents the physics of time as a physical process. With classical physics representing processes over a period of time has in Newton's differential equations. The universe is a continuum with the atoms representing standing waves over a period of time. Everything is a wave over a period of time relative to the elements of the periodic table with particle characteristics only as the future unfolds in that frame of reference. Therefore each individual is in the center of their own reference frame as an interactive part of this process with Heisenberg's uncertainty principle representing the same uncertainty we have with any future event at the smallest scale of this process. You might be thinking how can everything be new when we can observe great works of art that are hundreds of years old. But it is the experience of observation that is new. This newness relative to photon-electron interactions can be seen in the interactive nature of the double-slit experiment. This experiment cannot be explained by mainstream physics. They have no rational or objective understanding of why the light acts the way it does. 
but if we look at the double slit experiment as a process over a period of time with the future being formed photon by photon within the reference frame of the experiment, it can make logical sense. The light waves that come in contact with the plate with the slits will collapse into new photons forming new photon electron couplings or dipole moments as the future unfolds. The light waves that do not come in contact with the plate will go through both slits. The waves will then form constructive and destructive interference and over a period of time an interference pattern will build up on the rear screen photon by photon. This interference pattern will continue as time unfolds photon by photon within the isolated reference frame of the experiment. Just as in Newtonian physics only when an external force comes in contact with the light does the interference pattern collapse. When an observer tries to see which slit the photon went through by turning on an electronic detector forming a new photon-electron coupling the interference pattern collapses. This is because the new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment formed by the electronic detector represents a new moment in time, the moment of now within the reference frame of the experiment. The interference pattern has become part of the past history of the experiment with the future of the experiment unfolding relative to the actions of the observer turning on the electronic detector. If the observer turns off the electronic detector the interference pattern will reform over a period of time photon by photon. In this theory we have a universal interactive process the same interference pattern can be seen when sunlight breaks through clouds forming rays of sunlight. For this process to be totally universal gravity has to be linked to the probability of quantum mechanics and the uncertainty of everyday life. One of the great misconceptions of science is that mass is the source of gravity, but this is not so energy and momentum are the source of gravity. This theory takes this to its logical conclusion explaining gravity as a secondary force to the electromagnetic force. This can be seen mathematically with both the electromagnetic force and the gravitational force sharing the inverse square law. The light photon of quantum mechanics is the carrier of the electromagnetic force forming one universal process of energy exchange. As in Newton's third law of motion, to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Gravity is the opposite reaction to the spontaneous emission and absorption of photon energy. The broken symmetry of this process can be seen in the motion of the planets with the elliptical orbits of Kepler's laws of planetary motion. As a mystic Kepler believed the underlying structure of the universe was built from perfect geometric forms. But what he found was elliptical orbits that sweep out equal areas in equal times as the planets orbit the Sun. In this theory these elliptical orbits represent the broken symmetry of space-time. If the planets' orbits were circular there would be no variation in speed and we would have perfect symmetry in space and time. This is because as a process of continuous creation energy slows the rate that time flows forming the time dilation of Einstein's relativity that is formed by the Sun is spherical. Therefore a planet in circular orbit would not encounter a gravitational difference and would have constant speed. This dynamic theory of gravity links gravitational potential electrical potential and quantum potential with the potential uncertainty of our everyday life. At the most fundamental level this process can be represented geometrically as a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. Only a process of symmetry forming and breaking can form statistical entropy or disorganization and also the possibility for ever greater symmetry formation as we see in imperfect symmetry of cell life. 
when the spherical symmetry is broken it forms the most beautiful of geometrical shapes with the Fibonacci spiral being visible almost everywhere in nature. This is not because of economy of growth, but because the Fibonacci spiral represents part of a dynamic universal process of continuous creation. This deep principle within the fabric of our universe forms the potential for knowledge of the process. This theory explains conscious awareness in the form of electrical activity within the brain as the most advanced part of this universal process that is aware of its own electrical potential. Therefore we can comprehend this process from the center of our own reference frame as time with a past that has gone forever and an uncertain future that only exists as a probability wave function. Only the moment of now is real for the individual within this process of continuous change. The flow of time as a process of continuous energy exchange and our consciousness as a stream of unbroken ever-changing flow of ideas, feelings, dreams, hopes, perceptions, and emotions are interlinked. In this theory each individual is at the forefront of creation in the moment of now within the center of their own reference frame being able to look back in time in all directions at the beauty of the stars. The universe is a continuum with a unity and oneness that can only be formed out of one universal process that forms the potential infinity of possibilities with creation in the hand and eye of the beholder. Thanks for watching. Please share, subscribe and rate it will help the promotion of this theory.